when we're dealing with high power electrical power systems and we need to measure quantities such as voltage and current in those systems, it would be impractical and unsafe to have our panel mounted instruments or protective relays directly connect to the high voltage, high current power lines. That would just not be practical. So we need ways to measure what's going on in the power system and to step those signals down to a level that would be safe and reasonable for a panel mounted instrument to monitor. A panel mounted instrument in, in mind here would be something like this protective relay, this 5051 uh, instantaneous overcurrent, time overcurrent protective relay. This needs to sense the amount of current going through one of the three phase lines in a power system, but as I said, it would be impractical to run that power conductor straight through this panel mounted device. So what we have to do is use, in this case, something called a current transformer. And a current transformer is pretty much what it sounds like. It's a uh, transformer, electrical transformer, with a secondary winding as a coil. The primary winding is the straight conductor. The magnetic field from that straight conductor induces a current in the secondary winding, which is much less. It's a step-down ratio of that current. And that current comes down to our relay or a meter or other panel-mounted instrument. This is a, a uh, current transformer right here. If we take a look at it, we see it actually has a ratio on it right there. The ratio says 100 slash 5. It's a 100 to 5 ratio. So if this were installed on our power system and our power conductor went through the center of this CT, every 100 amps through that power conductor would induce 5 amps of current in the secondary. So hence the 100 to 5 ratio. You can purchase these in all kinds of different ratios, 50 to 5, 100 to 5, 300 to 5, 600 to 5. Those are some of the common ratios you'll see. And the idea is this not only steps down the current of the high voltage and high current conductor down to something more reasonable, but it also electrically isolates the high voltage conductor from the measurement circuit. Because there is no direct contact here, it's simply a donut that you pass the conductor through there's no galvanic connection. There's no copper to copper connection anywhere in this, uh, in this unit. It's all coupled by magnetism. So the high potential of that three phase conductor to ground is not coupled to our sensing circuit. We can ground one of these wires here directly and thereby have a nice safe low potential signal over here at a nice low current like five amps and that way our panel mounted instruments are dealing with safe voltage and current levels safely isolated from the power line itself. Now there's a very important caveat when you're using current transformers and that is you never ever ever want to open circuit the secondary winding because acting as a current transformer with current going through the power line this transformer tends to act as a current source to anything it's connected to. Hence if I open up any of these wires here it's going to try to push the amount of current that it's rated for through that open. If that open is an air gap, it will arc across that air gap. So for example, if I have 100 amps of current going through the power line, and this ratio is 100 to 5, what this transformer will do is try to push 5 amps of current through whatever it encounters in this loop. If I break that open and I have an air gap there, it's going to try to push 5 amps of current AC through an air gap and probably destroy itself in the process. You never ever want to open circuit the secondary winding of a current transformer it is very dangerous and destructive. That also poses special challenges for protective relays because if we want to disconnect these relays from the power system, we need to do so in such a way that never open circuits that even when the system is live. So if you take a look at this protective relay, it has a paddle down here we can pull out. That paddle has a series of metal fingers on it that engage with a series of clips inside the protective relay case. This paddle works to make the connection between me, make the connection between the uh, current transformer and the actual relay itself. So if I want to take this relay out of the socket and perform any maintenance on it, I pull out the paddle first. The way those spring contacts are built inside of here, although it's difficult to see, when you pull this out, when you disengage the contacts, it doesn't just open up the circuit because that would pose that safety hazard we discussed earlier. It first short circuits the current transformer's output and then breaks the contacts between the CT and the protective relay. So in switch terms it would be referred to as a 
make before break switch contact. It makes the shorting contact before it breaks the contact with the relay, <clears throat> and thereby maintains continuity in the secondary circuit at all times. So that does not arc, does not produce high voltage, does not destroy itself. Very important safety concern when dealing with current transformers, and it's handled for you automatically here by removing the paddle on this General Electric protective relay.